こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Hello, how are you? Today, 漢字 video number 43 of GOPT N4. We are going to learn these two kanjis to open and to close and also many combinations. At first, I'm going to explain you how to write the stroke order. At first, this red one, one and two, this black one, two, three and four and four. Five, this red one, six, this is longer and jump here, seven and eight. And this is called Mongamae. When you write this Mongamae, you should write always going up, like this, going up. Then this right part is going to be bigger than this left part because this is higher, and but here, This part is the longer and lower than this one. So the right part is bigger than this left part. Now inside, one and two, the so red one and black one. This is like ni from katakana or ni from kanji and going also up like this. And now this blue one, three and the green one, four. This kanji means open and we can pronounce a from akeru, hira, hiraku, and also kai. Now we are going to write this one to close. You know, the mongamai is the same, only the difference is inside. So inside this red one, one, and black one, two, and jump. And now from here, from upper part, going down like this. Shun, the blue one. And we can pronounce shi from shimeru, to from tojiru, and also hei. When we use this kanji pronouncing a, then for example, something ga aku, something ga akimas. This is intransitive verb. Something opens by itself. The door opens, or the door is going to open. Doa ga akimas. Doa ga akimasu. Now in the transitive verb, doa o akeru. Doa o akemasu. It means I'm gonna open the door. Now attention please. This one we can also pronounce hiraku. Hirakimasu. In this case, the meaning is the same. To open. Something opens. But in this case, hiraku can be the intransitive verb and also transitive verb. But actually, the nuance is different. When we say aku, aku, or aku, like this. But hiraku is like the hiraku. To open the book. Hon o hiraku. To open the umbrella. Umbrella, we say kasa. Kasa o hiraku. Kasa o hirakimasu. Anyway, I want you to watch my grammar video number 37. 37 of GOPT and 4. There I explain very detail about hiraku, aku, akeru. Now the opposite. This kanji, then something ga shimaru. Something closes. The store closes. Mise ga shimaru. Ah, o mise ga shimarimasu. Transitive verb. Someone closes something. Something o shimeru. I'm going to close the door. Doa o shimemasu. Doa o shimemasu. There's other way to pronounce. To from tojiru, tojimasu. In this case, the meaning is also the same, to close. But we can use in intransitive verb and also in transitive verb, both. Tojiru is the opposite of hiraku. I close the book. Hon o I close the umbrella. Kasa o tojimasu. Kasa o tojimasu. You can learn much more in detail about shimaru, shimeru, tojiru in my grammar video number 38 of GOPT4. To open a shop. There are two ways to say it. Mise o akeru. お店を開けます。開店します。開店します。
These two sentences are exactly the same, and also the meaning there are two. One is to open the shop daily, and the other one to open the shop for the first time, like to start a new business. Opening time of the store. Kaiten jikan. There are two ways to say to close the store, and also there are two meanings to close the store daily or to close down the store permanently. Heiten shimas. Heiten shimas. Mise o shimemas. Mise o shimemas. Closing time of the store. Heiten jikan. Heiten jikan. To open facilities or to close facilities. Kaikan shimas. Heikan shimas. Did you notice they are almost the same? Only the difference is the kanji of here. Before we use this one, ten, this is mise, the shop or the store. But here we used this kanji, kan, means any kind of facilities that use with this kanji, kan. For example, tosho kan, library. So when the library opens, kaikan shimas, and all museums. But not arts. For example, science museum or dinosaur museum, anything. Hakubutsukan. Science museum is already closed. Hakubutsukan wa mo heikan shimashita. Hakubutsukan wa mo heikan shimashita. Opening time of some kind of facilities using this kanji kan. This is Kaikan jikan. And the closing time, heikan jikan. The opening time of the aquarium, suizokukan no kaikan jikan. Suizokukan no kaikan jikan. Kanji meaning of aquarium. Kan, this is a facility, facility of sui, this is water, means zoku from kasoku family. Water family. So that is some kind of facilities of water family. Suizokukan, aquarium. Community center. Kominkan. Kanji meaning. Ko, this is public. Min, this is people. Public people and facilities. So this facilities for everyone. This is Kominkan, community center. Do you know the closing time of the community center? Kominkan no heikan jikan wo shiteimasu ka? Kominkan no heikan jikan wo shiteimasu ka? To open the facilities with kanji of en, kaien shimasu, and to close the facilities. Heien shimasu. Opening time, kaien jikan. Closing time, heien jikan. But this in facilities must have this kanji of en. Botanical garden. Shokubutsu en. Shokubutsu en. Kanji meaning. Shokubutsu, this is plants, like trees and flowers. Shoku, uemas. Uemas, it means the verb. To plant. Butsu, the things, the things that are planted. In the kanji of en, this means open and wide, open air space. Zu, dobutsu en. Dobutsu means animals. Do from ugokimas to move. <laughs> Mono, things. The things that move, this is animals. And N, also this is wide and open air outdoor place. What time is the opening time of the zoo? Dobutsu en no kaien jikan. Kaien jikan wa nanji desu ka? Dobutsu en no kaien jikan wa nanji desu ka? The park. Koen. We also have got this kind of N. Theme park, amusement park, yuenchi, 
UNT. We also have this kanji, N. Disneyland. Disneyland. Here, we don't have this kanji, N, but this is amusement park. So we say with this, kaiyen shimasu, heiyen shimasu, or kaiyen jikan, heiyen jikan. To start the show, to start the play. Kaiyen shimasu. Here, this kanji of en comes from this word, engeki, drama, theater, play. So when we say kaiyen shimasu, it means performances, or performances on stage, or show. In this case, we must be careful. The opposite of kaiyen shimasu, this is shuen shimasu. This is kanji of oarimasu to end. Shuen shimasu. Curtain time. Opening time. Kaiyen jikan. Ending time of a show. Shuen jikan. Shuen jikan. Opening ceremony. Kai kai shiki. Kai kai shiki. Closing ceremony. Hei kai shiki. Hei kai shiki. The verb to open, to discharge. To liberate. Kaiho shimasu. In July, we will open the swimming pool to the public or to, to the citizens. Shichigatsu ni shimin ni pool wo kaiho shimasu. Shichigatsu ni shimin ni pool wo kaiho shimasu. Laid back. Free or carefree. Open. This is not adjective. Kaiho teki. Outgoing. Very free and open minded person. Kaiho teki na hito. Summer is a season when you can feel more open and free. Natsu wa kaiho teki. Kaiho teki ni narimasu. Kaiho teki ni naremasu. Kaiho teki ni nareru kisetsu desu. Natsu wa kaiho teki ni nareru kisetsu desu. Here I used kaiho teki ni. Kaiho teki na is na adjective. But we must change to adverb. Kaiho teki ni narimasu. But I said kaiho teki ni nareru. Narimasu. This is a potential verb because you can feel more open. Kaiho teki ni naremasu. And I said, nareru kisetsu. Not naremasu kisetsu. Because this is relative clothes. The verb, to release to the public. To open to the public. To publish. But also the meaning of to come out. To disclose. Kokai shimasu. Kokai shimasu. And the kanji meaning. Ko, public. Kai, this to open, open to the public. This information is dangerous. So please do not disclose it under any circumstances. Kono jōhō wa kiken. Kono jōhō wa kiken desu. Kono jōhō wa kiken desu kara. The noun, development, kaihatsu. We can add any other nouns before kaihatsu. For example, robot kaihatsu, robotics development, uchu kaihatsu. Space development. And the verb to develop. Kaihatsu shimasu. Kaihatsu shimasu. The verb to begin or to start. There are two. Hajimemasu or kaishi shimasu. The difference. We use hajimemasu more commonly in daily life. Kaishi shimasu is more formal and also when we talk to the public. Kaishi shimasu is also to initiate, to launch, 
to launch a new campaign like this. 開始します。Adding 時間開始時間 It means the starting time. We are going to start the exam. 試験を開始します。試験を開始します。To be fed up. To feel annoyed. 平行します。漢字 meaning. Hey, to close. Hey, こう the mouth, 口 Close the mouth. <laughs> This means something is so troubling and annoying that I just, I don't want to say a word. I just don't want to talk about anything about it. I close the mouth. Hey, <laughs> Koshimasu. I can't stand the way he keeps bugging me. Annoying, persistent, insistent, but all in the negative way. しつこい。しつこい。We can change this e adjective to the noun. Changing this e to sa. しつこさ。しつこさ。In English, I think it is like a、um, Annoying insistence. I am fed up with something. Something ni, and this something is the noun. Noun ni, heiko shimas, or heiko shiteimas. Kare no shitsuko sa. Kare no shitsuko sa ni heiko shiteimas. Kare no shitsuko sa ni heiko shiteimas. I am annoyed at her selfishness. Selfish, egoistic, childish, self-centered, jerk. Na adjective, wagamama na. But only wagamama, this can be a noun. Kanojo no wagamama. Kanojo no wagamama ni heiko shiteimas. Kanojo no wagamama ni heiko shiteimas. Now, a quiz time with three translations into Japanese using this kanji or this one. Ichibame, what time does this library close? In this question, if you can do two different versions, that would be very good. It means using one of these kanjis as the verb, but the other one as the noun. It means the closing time. Well, I'm gonna tell you the sentence in English translated literally from Japanese. What time is the closing time of this library? Nimame, I'm fed up with this, this heat. I'm gonna help you here. Atsui, this is hot. But I want you to make in the noun. Do you remember when I told you? Shitsukoi, e adjective. And we can change into noun. Instead of e, I'm gonna use sa, shitsuko sa. This is the noun. So in the case of atsui, hot, e adjective, but I can change into the noun. Instead of e, sa, atsa. Sabame, saigo desu. We will launch a new service starting from January next year. A new service. 新しいサービス。新しいサービス。Today we learned only two kanjis, these two. But thanks to these two kanjis, you've learned lots of new vocabularies. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give me a like. And if you can share my videos with your friends, you will help me a lot. And if you'd like to keep learning Japanese with me like this, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. いかがでしたか今日はこの新しい漢字を2つだけ説明しましたでもこの2つの漢字を使うとたくさんの熟語ができますよねこの2つの漢字は本当に似ていて同じ門構えです中心の部分だけが違いますこの2つの漢字をマスターして語彙をどんどん増やしていきましょうねこのように私のチャンネルでは皆さんの日本語学習のお役に立てるようなビデオを少しずつレベルアップしながら出しています
これからも頑張っていこうと思っていますからぜひ応援してくださいねチャンネル登録やいいねボタンをくだされば本当に嬉しいですそして私のチャンネルが広まるようにお友達に紹介してくださったら本当に助かりますぜひよろしくお願いしますではまた次のビデオでお会いできるのをとても楽しみにしています絶対に来てくださいねじゃあねまたね Thank、you